When trying to develop opportunities for new technology products and services, one of the biggest challenges, after finding a real customer who needs it that is, is developing an innovative technology solution that will solve their problems. Dominant designs can help you do just that. So if you want to learn what a dominant design is and how to use it to develop an innovative technology product or service for your customer, just keep watching. The principle behind a dominant design is something I have always been aware of. I just hadn't used that particular terminology to describe it. That was until I read about it in a textbook I used to help me develop the very first version of my online program for an MBA course on technology commercialization at the Robert Gordon University in Aberdeen. It's an extremely useful concept for anyone seeking to develop new technology products and services. In your search for technology solutions to emerging customer problems, it's really hard to build an innovative solution from individual technology inventions. They take years to develop and they are probably not designed to solve the problem that is facing you and your potential customer. It's far easier to take advantage of already assembled technology solutions and to combine them together to solve your specific customer problem or opportunity. So what is a dominant design? One of the earliest examples was the department store. Before the department store came along, you had to shop in many different places. The department store solved a real customer problem. They could buy everything in one place. It completely changed the way people shopped. And it changed again with the advent of the mall. Lots of shops in one place with many department stores. And today, Amazon. No department stores required. Everything you need from the comfort of your own home. Other examples of dominant designs would be Henry Ford's Model T that you could have in any colour as long as it was black, and the car production line that made it possible. The home PC, Microsoft software to make it useful, the internet, and Google to find things on it, the Apple iPod, iTunes, and even rockets, the Saturn V, Space Shuttle, and now Elon Musk's SpaceX, completely reshaping space travel. The same Elon Musk who co-founded another dominant design, PayPal. And his story takes us right back to cars with Tesla. A dominant design is a solution so powerful it becomes the industry standard. Very few of us will ever develop a dominant design platform. If you can, you will be a billionaire. But that doesn't stop the rest of us using them. You can even combine them to develop a billion dollar company. Here are a few dominant designs already at your fingertips. The smartphone, two software platforms, Apple iOS and Android, GPS, 4G phone connectivity, and Google Maps. How on earth could you combine them to develop an innovative solution to a customer problem? Uber did. I'm doing exactly the same in Disruptech. 4K video, iMac computers, Final Cut Pro video production software, digital audio recording, YouTube to host the videos I produce, edX to deliver the courses for my corporate clients with my partner firm Proversity. A new emerging streaming platform following in the footsteps of Spotify, developed by another partner, Superpass. All delivered in the Apple and Android stores and on mobile devices by subscription. Clearly I'm not doing anything that is anywhere near the scale that Uber is operating on, but the principles are exactly the same. So when you identify environmental change that creates customer pain or pleasure opportunities, look towards existing and emerging dominant designs to provide the solutions. You don't need to invent anything. Henry Ford didn't invent the car. He invented a way to build them. You can do exactly the same for your customers. In the Disruptech online program, this is just one of many tools and concepts designed to help you build viable technology business opportunities. There are podcasts, activities, and a whole range of techniques and templates to help you build a viable technology solution to your customers' problems. We spend a huge amount of time in the early program really focused on assembling technology solutions. If you want to learn more, take a look at the introductory video in the link below. You can also sign up to receive more of these short videos, blogs, and templates. Just follow the link and subscribe. Thanks for watching.